For this video, we will be demonstrating a physical to virtual migration of a Network 6.5 Service Pack 7 box to VMware using Portlock Storage Manager. There are a couple things to consider before beginning this process. One, we have the option of running Portlock Storage Manager from the Portlock Boot CD or from the .nlms on the network source side. And two, from VMware or our client side, we will need to create a virtual machine with at least the same space of that of our network physical server. We will then need the Portlock boot CD, which you have the ability to boot from the .iso or physical CD-ROM on the virtual machine. For this demonstration, we are also using the Portlock boot CD on the physical network side and not from the .nlms. With the Portlock boot CD up and running on our physical server, we will now open Portlock Storage Manager from the Welcome menu. Here you will be provided with your licensing and expiration information. We will hit Enter to continue and select Netware for our operating system as this is the platform we will be migrating. On the next screen, select Netware 6.5 as our Netware version. This will take us to the main menu of Portlock Storage Manager. From here, we will select the Image commands, which will allow us to establish a connection to our virtual machine and select Image Entire System. Portlock Storage Manager will now display the partitions that reside on your physical server. If you wish to skip a partition, press the F5 key on a highlighted partition. By doing so, you can see that the status of the partition will change and will not be imaged or migrated. With the status left at image, we will continue and image our selected items. We will select Do Not Purge for this demonstration. For our image destination, we will select to image over a TCP IP link. And for our compression mode, we will select to disable compression at this time. At the TCP IP mode, we will need to select TCP IP server for our physical side which will automatically detect our IP address. From here, all that needs to be done is to hit enter for our physical side to start listening for a connection. Now with our physical server listening for a connection, we will move over to our virtual machine. For this VM, I have previously booted from the .iso file of the Portlock boot CD. Once up and running, we will start Portlock Storage Manager from the Welcome menu. We will then be presented with the same screens and options that we went through on the physical server. Again, we will select Netware as our managing operating system and Netware 6.5 as this is the version we are migrating to VMware. Once at the main menu of Portlock Storage Manager, we will select the Restore commands and choose to read image from a TCP IP link. This will allow us to establish a connection between our physical and virtual machine. At the TCP IP mode screen, we will now select TCP IP client for our virtual machine. Here we will enter the IP address of our physical server to establish a connection between the two machines. When ready, hit F10 to continue and your connection will be established. For any connection issues that you might experience, please use the Portlock Network Configuration Utility to diagnose and troubleshoot. You can see that we are now able to view the Netware file systems from the physical server on our virtual machine. To begin the migration process, hit Enter to continue. Here you will select the device you wish to restore to and free space that is available. Portlock Storage Manager will begin by migrating your DOS partition. For this demonstration, we will leave the partition its default size. The migration of your DOS partition will now take place. I have split the screen so you are able to view the progression for each of your physical source and virtual client side. Here you can monitor the performance as well as the completion percentage of your migration to go along with the size and image progress. Once your DOS partition has completed, Portlock Storage Manager will begin checking your NSS pool. In order for a successful image or migration to take place, your pools and volumes must remain error-free. Portlock Storage Manager will not allow you to migrate a corrupted or problem file system. Depending on the size of your pool, this may take a couple of minutes. For this demonstration, we have fast-forwarded to the end of this pool check. Once the NSS pool check is completed, you will have the option of renaming your pool and volume. For the physical to virtual process, this is not necessary and in most cases not recommended. So for this demonstration, we will leave the pool and volume its default name. Portlock Storage Manager has the ability to resize pools larger during the migration process. There is a default, minimum, and maximum size for your pool. Here we have selected the default size. Again, select your destination device and free space. Once you have hit Continue and Restore, Portlock Storage Manager will begin migrating your sys partition. Depending on the size of your sys, this may take a while. Once your migration is complete, there is nothing left for you to do except confirm Netware now boots in your virtual machine. Hitting Enter will now take you back to the main menu of Portlock Storage Manager 
where you can now boot to the virtual hard drive of your virtual machine. When booting to NetWare for the first time, you will need to use the Novell utility HDetect. HDetect is NWConfig's replacement for the NetWare 6.5 versions of NetWare. Upon booting for the first time, issue the command HDetect at your system console. For this demonstration, I have had to previously load my drivers, however this should still give you an understanding of what needs to be loaded. From the next screen you can see we have our storage adapters, devices, and network board. By hitting F3 we are able to auto detect these drivers in most cases. This can be done for each device type. For a closer look and description of your drivers you can hit the enter key on your selected device. Once your device drivers have been detected we can then continue. For your NIC card you may still need to issue an IP address. To do so select configure protocols from the options below. Then select the frame type and hit enter. Here you will have the ability to manipulate your IP addresses. When finished, continue and select drive summary. We will then continue where all of your devices will be loaded. To confirm all your volumes are now mounted, issue the volumes command from your system console. This will conclude our demonstration on migrating netware from a physical to virtual environment. For more information, please view our product user guide.